Hello, my name's uh, Rod Kowicki. Uh, I'm the author of uh, the Supertelic Electromagnetic Gravitational Universe Technology Theory. Uh, in short, that name's uh, CGET. CGET Technology, or FTL, Fast and Light Speed Space Travel. The first book ever written that identifies with uh, traveling faster than the speed of light. Uh, what I want to discuss uh, in this video, I think it's number 15, is about two things. One, uh, the grandfather paradox, why it fails in quanta physics, and uh, distort, distortion, distorted energy. What is distorted energy? Distorted energy is energy left over from the Big Bang or elusive energy that is floating around in space, as you want to call it. It's energy that's not connected to anything, so it just floats around. Some physicists uh, believe that this distorted energy what is what creates, helps create the wall of the light constant. The prevention of particles on the other side of the light bearing barrier, preventing traveling faster than the speed of light. Everything we see, and have, or have the potential to see, is on this side of the light bar barrier. Anything on the other side of the light barrier, you, we can't see, because it's on the other side. It's, it's a different uh, density, a different uh, field grade, or whatever you want, you might want to call it. In any essence, distortion en energy, also the clause that's been uh, created by uh, Stephen Hawkins, uh, he calls uh, chronological uh, protection principle, I think it is, which talks about the st distorted energy. In my book, I do go into distorted energy, and I show how uh, it's potential is not as great as one believes it might be. Uh, it's just the idea that, uh, and I, talk, I do talk about particles on the other side, stuff we can't see, stuff we don't know. You know. But my theory is based on the density of, of the vacuum, which is equal to the potential of Earth's atmosphere and traveling at the speed of light. But distorted energy in space has the same chronological value as uh, E equals mc squared, except that it's spread over a, a greater area. What I mean is uh, we're talking about twice the distance in the single frame. That means even though E equals mc squared, the velocity doesn't due to the vacuum. This means that any energy assumed in the vacuum is twice as weak as thought, of, according to Einstein. So Einstein believes that gravity is constant all over. We're talking about, we're talking about dark matter. I go into this, this uh, division of uh, dark matter and gravity and what both of them are, but Einstein's theory is that it's a, it's a potential gravity that stems out all through space. We have the LISA mission program that's trying to detect these gravity waves in space. The only thing is, I mean, if, you, if you look at it in, in a certain perspective, we look at gravity as being a, an energy type or activity within the Earth's atmosphere go into outer space and it's the absence of this gravitation and the action uh, the measurements showing this are uh, 10 plus 33 centimeters squared where the en is the energy field uh, of the Earth's atmosphere also known as gravity and then you go out into the intercellular space and we have minus 30, 1033 are two main 
numbers that correlate uh, the difference between uh, the Earth's atmosphere and gravity and the absence of that gravity, which is in outer space, zero point energy. And from those numbers, I was, I'm was i able to show how fast and light speed space travel is possible. And as far as the destroyed energy, like I said, it's twofold. It's twice as weak as it, we thought. It's twice the distance in a single plane. Okay, now, uh, since we only have 10 minutes on these videos, I want to go into the grandfather paradox. Grandfather paradox, uh, written by Albert Einstein, explains an uh, adventure of traveling, of, a, of a tra traveling from the future, some place or the present, traveling in, in a time machine back into the past, killing his grandfather so he wouldn't be born. Well, elusive to itself, we find it, I find it very uh, unwarranted. Uh, for one thing, if he did that, he would not be born. Okay, then you say, well, he didn't do that until he went back and did it. He killed his father. In essence, that's true. But he still wouldn't be born. Things just won't vibrate and, and change, as some believe, as a uh, dimension. What happens is the traveler from the future, or the presence, let's say, if this was 2010, and the guy got in a machine and traveled back in time, You know, the depthness of uh, sci-fi is deep, you know. My theory extends to the possibility of traveling faster than the speed of light by traveling in a ship in interstellar space relative to the velocity it takes to do that. When we do this, we are traveling forward and with the, the arrow of time. Time always travels forward relative to the grandfather clock or a man, grandfather incident, if we travel back, we travel backwards in time by traveling forward at a more vicious velocity. We travel uh, to the speed of light, we're traveling 186,000 miles a second, and we're tra we, tra we travel into the future of the, the Earth. You know, that's what we're looking for, or the universe. But when we travel fast into that, we slow down time to where finally it begins to flow backwards. But we're still traveling forwards with the arrow of time. So with that, we travel backwards in time to, to a time that his grandfather lived. Now, he wants to change this. He can't do it. He's from the future already. He goes back and kills his grandfather. Uh, history doesn't, nothing will happen. The only thing will happen is he'll either be arrested or police from the, his time frame will come over and, and get him for the murder. He didn't change that. What he did is the event happened at the time as in his time frame. He went back into his, his grandfather's time frame, not his, and killed his grandfather. They came back to his time, you know, thinking that everything's just going to disappear and he won't be born. Well, that's not the fact. He gets back home, finds out he's still alive. What happened is the murder incident that took place happened in 2010, not the time that he went back to travel. And this is what's wrong with the Einstein paradox. Traveling backwards in time doesn't mean you travel on the same timeline. The timeline is equal to the, the present or time that you start traveling, not the time frame that you travel back to. A person is traveling from a time frame in the future with the ability to travel backwards in time 